Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, Explosive Chain Battle is about to return to Global for the third time now on November 13th. And this time around, we have Super Saiyan God Goku as the new boss. And in today's video, I want to give you guys a guide for the best attackers, supporters, as well as uh, connectors to choose to achieve the highest possible score and get as many rewards as you possibly can. Now, since this is the third chain battle on Global, I'm assuming that most people watching this video have a general idea of what explosive chain battle is and how the attackers, supporters, and connectors work, okay? So with all that said, why don't we jump right into it and start with some basic information about the Super Saiyan God Goku. As you can see, he's actually an AGL type in the system, but since type of advantage doesn't really matter in chain battle, you can just ignore that, and uh, he's coming out on November 13th, 2020, which is in about a day and a half from the time this video comes out. And the effective or advantageous categories against him are Universe Survival Saga, Universe 6, and Rapid Growth. And the effective or advantageous characters are Kales, Kaliflas, Kale and Kalifla, Keflas, Hits, and Jirens, as you can see from this list right here. So now let's talk about the best possible attackers that you can choose for this event slash boss. And there are actually quite a few good options that all perform well, but based on what I saw from JP players, the best ones for Super Saiyan God Goku are Tech Hit, SDR Kefla, LR Kale and Kalifla, or the Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. So any one of these four have the potential to allow you to achieve a very high score, but of course, the attacker is only one piece of the puzzle. Your supporters and connectors are also extremely important. Now, if you don't have any of these four units to use as your attacker, um, that's unfortunate, but you can also go with the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla. She's decent and also readily available through the Baba Shop right now with a thank you gift card. So everybody should be able to get at least one copy of her. Obviously, she's not as effective as the other options because her stats are lower and she also doesn't have her Extreme Z Awakening on Global yet. I am holding out a little bit of hope that maybe they'll surprise us with the Kale and Khalifa Extreme Z Awakenings, um, you know, for part two of the celebration, but it's kind of hard to say. Either way, the best picks for the attacker against Super Saiyan God Goku are, once again, Tech Hit, SDR Kefla, LR Kale and Khalifla, or the Fizz uh, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. If you guys have any of those four, then you're good to go. Now from there, we have to talk about the Super Supporter Team, Extreme Supporter Team, as well as the Extreme and Super Connectors, right? So starting with the Super Supporters, you basically want to make sure that your team is loaded up with as many Kales and Khaliflas as possible. So a good Super Supporting Team here would include units like LR Kale and Khalifla, TUR Kale and Khalifla, AGL Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla, Tech Base Khalifla, SDR Base Kale, the Free to Play um, Super Saiyan 2 Kale as well as Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla, and also the two Keflas and Berserk Kale are also good to have. Obviously, the more of them that are rainbowed, the better since stats play a big role in your final high score, right? And once you have a good supporting team, build up with Kales and Khaliflas, you have to choose one of your own units to be the connector to link with your supporting team. And what you're looking for here is shared links, categories, and types between the connector and the units on the supporting team. So in that sense, any Kale and Khalifla in the game should be a pretty good connector, but the best options are either LR Kale and Khalifla or AGL Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla. So, that should cover it for the super side of things. Now let's move on to the extreme supporters as well as the extreme um, connector. And things get kind of interesting here because logically, if you look at you know the effective categories, Universe Survival Saga, Universe 6, and Rapid Growth, and also the effective characters where Hit is the only extreme character in the pool, you would think that the best extreme supporter team would consist of all the hits in the game, so the Tech one, the Int one, the STR one, as well as the Free to Play Fizz one down here, and maybe, you know, Bergamo, maybe Andrew Golden Frieza, 
and uh, some other extreme universe survival saga units right but that's actually not the case at all and i think the main reason for that is because the hits in this game right now are just not very good i mean if we had like an lr hit then that might be the best strategy and i'm not saying that if you do a full hit team for your supporters that's not gonna give you a decent score it should still allow you to you know get top one percent if you have the right setup right but if you looked at any of the highest scores from jp players when they had uh, Super Saiyan God Goku as their chain battle boss, pretty much all of them were running extreme teams with all cells as opposed to hits, okay? So contrary to logic and contrary to what the effective categories and effective characters would tell you, you actually wanna go with an extreme supporter team of all cells. And the ideal team would look something like uh, LR first form cell, Fizz or Int LR cell, is LR cell, uh, tech easy A cell, int easy A cell, str easy A cell, and uh, also the TUR versions of the int LR and also the fizz LR. Obviously, other cells can be good too, but those are the main ones you're looking for. And uh, in terms of the connector, the best possible choice would be int LR cell, but any of the uh, easy A cells are good as well. And that pretty much covers it for the extreme side too. Now, I know it doesn't make the most sense. I know it's kind of weird that instead of going with the effective categories and all that stuff, you're just going with cells again, just like the last chain battle. But this was the best strategy on JP and people were able to get over 150 million points with all cells as their extreme supporters and extreme connectors. So uh, that's pretty much it guys. I guess the last thing to talk about here are the three units you choose um, during battle, like after the animations play, and they give you some options from your extreme and super supporters. And uh, obviously you're looking for synergy once again between um, links, categories, and types. So if you can, then make sure to choose three Kale or Khaliflas since they'll have a lot of shared categories and links, or three perfect cells, and you should be good to go. So that pretty much does it for today's guide. There's not much else for me to tell you, um, while I can't guarantee that every single person watching this video will achieve top 1% because obviously people have different units available to them to use as attackers and connectors and it's kind of hard to find the best possible supporting teams. Um, what I can say is that if you follow the advice in this video, you'll probably be able to get the highest possible score given the units and teams that are available to you. Okay, so. Uh, anyways guys, with all that said, thank you so much for watching, I appreciate your time, and as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, and that's it, I'm out of here, until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.